Hi folks, Mike here with another Roadside America app adventure. This time we're in Blue Ridge, Georgia, home to one of the last remaining muffler men in the United States. Now, if you follow the Roadside America page at all, you know what a muffler man is by now. They're those giant fiberglass statues that you find from place to place that they used to be used for advertising and they're disappearing from the landscape now because basically they're hard to maintain and, and not every local zoning ordinance will let you have a muffler man to advertise your business. Now, you may be wondering what makes a muffler man a muffler man and not just a giant fiberglass guy. Well, they're called muffler men because frequently in the past, in their, their heyday of the 60s and the 70s, they would be found holding a muffler in their hand. And, and therein is where uh, the distinction between muffler men and, and any other kind of fiberglass statuary could be made even though these days any kind of giant fiberglass statue is usually referred to uh, as a muffler man even if it's not a man the giant pink panthers I've shown before are actually referred to as muffler men by some folks but what makes a muffler man a muffler man well this one has been modified you can tell it's been repaired but it's all about the hands and the arms now that hand that's out there hold, held out in greeting in its original configuration would have been much lower and would have been facing up slightly instead of pointing downward. And this hand would have been positioned upward so that they could hold something. That's what they were, they were built for. They were built to hold something to advertise whatever business they were in front of. If it was an auto repair shop, it might very well be a muffler that was held in those two hands. Uh, before, I'm told at this hobby store, it's actually free time hobby. It's Mr. Hobby is the name of the muffler man, but free time hobby is the name of the store here in Blue Ridge. They're closed right now, but they have a lot of uh, model airplane and RC car uh, type supplies. It's a pretty good sized place. I bet you'd find what you need in there, but their muffler man, I'm told at one time, held a, uh, a model airplane in one of his hands, but I guess that got to be uh, more upkeep than they could, uh, they could take care of because the thing about these muffler men, what's made their life short, why you don't see as many of them, if you don't go up there in a bucket truck from time to time and give them a paint job, they start looking like a walker after a few seasons in the winter. But here you see this one, still standing proud, still taken care of, still big outside this hobby shop in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Folks, let's have a great big hand for the muffler man. I can remember a time, folks, when I was a kid, when you could see muffler men in just about every city that you went to advertising something. They were ubiquitous. An outfit out of Venice, California, made these out of a single mold that could be altered and custom fitted, depending on what you wanted to hold into the hand, in the hand of the muffler man, depending on what you wanted to look like. If you wanted him to look like a, an automobile mechanic, he could. If you wanted him to look like Paul Bunyan Lumberjack, they could fix you up that way too. But it was the same company that made them and they were everywhere at one time. But now, not so many. This one is a fine example. It's kept up pretty well. So until the next time, the next roadside weirdness, this is Mike from Blue Ridge, Georgia saying, bye.